1979 we landed here then I looked for a job and then uh, I found one uh, at the Australian newspaper okay first job first second week in Australia and then I was I was given a two-day affair a two-day gig okay and you can work from uh, say two o'clock in the afternoon till 11 o'clock in the evening I have to catch a train back home and we were living in a small flat in St. Leonard's just across the harbor bridge and uh, life's hard at the time but it was exciting I just I, I just tried to integrate in, in, in the newspaper in, in the newspaper uh, uh, side of things so I met lots of good decent journalists and funny cartoonists and I was part of the team again of the, the, the Australian black and white artists which it being some Hong Kong from Philippines to Australia, so uh, they, they always have awards and uh, and uh, they have these Oscars of cartooning. So I was uh, given four Artists of the Year awards for best illustration, twice, best caricature, and best cartoon. So uh, that that was in a series of from 1988 till 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 the mid 90s. But I used to have three caricature shops in Chinatown, but then. My family situation changed. My my children are not babies anymore. They've grown up. They they've left the house. They, they're all out, they're out on their own, looking for their jobs, looking for new jobs, looking for their relationships, and partners. So I have to downsize now, and uh, I'm going forward towards looking forward rather towards my retirement period because I'm 63 now. You know, how many more years for me? You won't see me alive anymore, maybe after <laughs> a decade or so, but, you know, I'm planning for that. Maybe the Philippines is my target. That's where I should retire, because that's where I was born. And then uh, bring back some, uh, probably, wisdom or kalokohan or kagimikan. Not to tune ako sa bansang ito na hindi ko naman pagmamaramot para may pamahagi at ibahagi, lalo na sa kabataan. Gusto ko sana magturo, kaya lang may, para may mga academic requirements na hindi naman ako nag-graduate ng final sa um, advertising ako <laughs> sa, sa PCC, which is PUP now. So, but I'm really inclined to doing that. Siyempre, idol. Idol. Idol si, ano, si Pinoy dahil uh, nungubuhi nga ako, 2008 pa. Na may premiumisyon ako, si Pino yung mananalo. Nasa interview ko sa akin yun ni Crip Pewson sa Illuminati program niya. Sabi ko, gumawa ako ng painting eh, ni, ni Pino eh. <laughs> Tapos, nandun ang mom niya, si Cory. It's a painting really. Siyang parang nag enlighten na siyang susunod na Pangulo. Totoo to. So, natutuwa ako dahil uh, na-acknowledge ng Pangulo ang existence ng isang Filipino community rito. Lalo na na ang pagdating niya rito, isang sign to ng healthy trade relationship ng dalawang bansa eh. Diba? Maraming Pinoy dito na trabaho, maraming din Australian people na nagkaroon ng investment sa, sa Pilipinas. It's a, it's a healthy relationship. So, damay ang Filipino community na, you know, you are people with, with a motherland na, na we are a people that... that, that 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 fights corruption, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Number one dun eh. Wala namang pangulo ko nakita ng nag-advocate niyan eh dahil mahirap na magsalita eh, di ba? Uh, ang tuwid na daan talaga eh. Pangangatawanan.